play game. All right. This is uh, version 1.0 of our game, A Well-Balanced Breakfast. It is a uh, first-person shooter where the primary well, gimmick of the game is that you take control of the last enemy you shot. And uh, like many games, it has all the... The menu is very well done. Look at this. We have options where you can, cha you can change all kinds of stuff. Yeah, let's play in... Look at that beautiful 6040 by 480. Mmm. Delicious. You can turn down the volume, which is very recommended because it starts on full. You can turn off full screen. No, pay no attention to that. Cut that out where it, you got to see what my desktop looked like. And, of course, controls. Very important playing any game. And you can start the game. And we have, light as advertised, two levels to choose from. And we're going to start with jail cells because it's a little more introductory. A little more straightforward, and this game is still in 640 by 480. And, uh, there we go. Turn the sensitivity up a bit because that works too. Well, you don't believe me? Check, check this out. Check this. Whoa, Whoa look at that. Yeah, that's some, that's some prime sensitivity right there. Let's put that back because it's kind of awful. All right. And as you can see, I am in a jail cell. Not much context needed. Being in a jail cell, you want to get out of that jail cell. So what do you do? You take the gun that they left in your jail cell, and you shoot the guy who's he's not even paying attention to you. He's pretty pretty static right now. And you probably didn't be able to hear that because I uh, turned down the volume so much. But that man, he, he screamed in pain and he died. Poor guy. Or did he die? In fact, the person who died was me. That's me. Now I'm the guy who's guarding the cell. And this is how the game kind of works. Enemies you shoot, you automatically become them. And in doing so, you gain their health. See, I have very little health. The guy who was guarding my cage was just a weakling. And you also get their gun. It's kind of, it's not very noticeable now since we have the same guns. But uh, you get their gun, you get how many bullets they had in the gun. So if they shoot like three shots, you get, well, if three shots out of eight, you get a five round clip. And it looks like somebody heard me, but... And now let's get out here. Let's shoot this guy. And you'll notice that the AI does react to your bullets, react to your shots. Uh, if you shoot an enemy, they will turn around, and uh, they can even detect you pretty quickly. They're very good at finding you. They're just they're so smart. You won't believe it. I shoot this guy up here, and they, they get a little confused because they're like, "Weren't you over there a second ago?" And like, I'm one of their buds. They don't know what to think. But they'll figure out soon enough if they turn around, so let's, let's do something about this. And they notice that this, this enemy is orange, which I just shot. And he's a little different from the others. The white enemies die outright, but these guys, they're stunned for a bit after you unpossess them, and then they come back to life. So you got to kind of be careful about what you do with these guys, where you leave them, and uh, when you want to become them. Because they have a lot more health, which is useful, but then you have to worry about uh, keeping track of them when they die again. And so, by creating this, um, we wanted to try to create, like, almost a tactical, kind of frantic experience. And, uh, look at this guy, he's, oh, someone found me. We wanted to try to create, like, an almost tactical, kind of frantic experience, almost kind of similar to how you'd get in, like, um, Gun Game, for example, if you ever play Counter-Strike or the newer Call of Duty version, where you're constantly just swapping you're constantly moving around getting a new weapon having to adapt to what's going on and now actually i prefer this gun right here i'm taking that yeah look at that mmm static doesn't even have an animation and so what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna try to this level we've actually made it a little difficult so now i'm an orange enemy so i gotta be careful about where i leave him so i'm gonna take care of this guy i'm gonna spin back around get you out of the picture and come back around, kill you, kill you, and now I'm this enemy with a lot of health, which is useful for the next room. Because this one guy up here, he's he's a dead eye, and you may notice that the uh, the environments are a little bare bones, which is, uh, may not be everyone's thing. But whatever. Mm, let's, I got choices here. Mm, 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 mm. We did save a lot of the visual aspects 
include the latter half of the project. So things you're seeing like trace around, those are added in the last minute. Uh, little minor things you may not notice. Tweaks to the AI. These guys were absolutely vicious before. Now they're a little dumber. Maybe a bit too dumb at times. They'll figure it out eventually. There's just... The enemies do actually... If you get close enough, I made it very, very close. They will figure out where you are. But oh... Review real quick. Review again. Review. Oop. You can see from the shadows. He's found me. Amazing. Oh, you face the wrong right way, bud. Take care of you. Go back and take care of me. Or is that me? Who am I? And just, I was crouching. That was the hidden crouch mechanic that only happens sometimes. Just take my word for it. And that gun shouldn't be standing up. Let's help this man along to the afterlife. Hey buddy, too. Roll on. Pay no attention to that. And you know what? For the end. Need this this little gun. That's actually terrible. It's intentionally terrible. Look at that. Mm, you gotta be like three feet away to kill anybody with that thing. And might as well go on to the end. Now you may notice there are two enemies left, but we got around that. The third type of enemy is this boss character, who, just to encourage the player to actually you know finish the level instead of scouring the entire level for. You know, that one enemy they missed. I'm pretty sure it was one of the enemies that comes back to life after you shoot them, who I left in the cell block at the beginning. We included this boss enemy, who has very, very poor range. He's, he's timid. That's fine. And uh, basically, once you kill him, it ends the level. And you'll see, we actually have a time thing. You can tell, I can tell you that this video has been going on for 5 minutes and 55 seconds and 865 milliseconds. Look at that. Fancy. And uh, congratulations, because I am a fan of the classics. Don't look into that any more than that. And um, if you want, uh, we don't have an online high score system, but if you want, you can uh, take your high score, write it down on a piece of paper, and mail it to us, and we'll put you in, um, we'll, we'll write it down somewhere and send you back a note saying, oh, you beat so-and-so. I, prom I, I'm, I promise for sure, definitely that's what's going to happen. Okay, I'm definitely lying about that. Now let's see the other level. Uh, this is the rooftops level. A little, little less orange than the other one, you'll notice. Uh, but this level is more of an arena-based one. A lot of the enemies in the last level were programmed to uh, sit around for a long tr period of time. And uh, basically, they were scripted to start shooting at you at certain points. In this level, the I AI is just always on. They're always looking for you, and they can usually find you pretty easily. And this level, you do actually have to kill all the enemies to get over it, and it is kind of difficult. It's more of an arena-based one. Basically kind of see how well you can deal with it. And um, another nice touch is that the enemies don't actually... A lot of the enemies fire in fully automatic. And we actually made it so they fire in random bursts instead. Uh, if a gun is automatic that the enemy is holding, they will fire it uh, in bursts of either, oh, I think, three to six shots. And we'll take a short pause. If it's semi-automatic, they fire in two to four shots. And another interesting, another useful technique is you can is to kind of pepper enemies, because say say there's a lot of enemies around. If you shoot enemies, they actually are stunned for a second and stop shooting for a bit. Like around, um, I think it's it's random at this moment. It's between one and two seconds, or no, I think half a second and two seconds. So if you shoot an enemy, they stop shooting at you for a bit. But it's also useful if you say want to shoot this enemy a couple times or. No, oh, that he's not a good example. Yeah, that's not happening. There's another one around here. There you are. Say you want to say you want enemies to stop shooting at you for a bit. Well, 
Yeah, shoot him with a pistol a couple of times. Hey, yeah, this guy. Uh oh, no, oh. Eh, yeah, it's hard. It's hard, ladies and gentlemen. It's really hard. This level is difficult. I made it so. And the enemies are very good at finding you. They can see through walls. No, they can't see through walls. Let's try a different approach. You. Oh, you know what? You're the problem. You go. Solve this. Now I'm very weak because of the gun I used. You'll notice that there's actually no other way to gain health in this game. So, either, anytime you shoot an enemy, you're either losing health or gaining health. Which is kind of a, a way to keep the game balanced. And also difficult. You can't, so you actually, you can't really just sit around and wait for enemies. You have to constantly be attacking. If you want to gain health, you actually have to kill enemies. thing I did, because I had a bit of free time and I'm a crazy person, is enemies actually take fall damage. It's not so noticeable with, well, much like the play. It's not so noticeable with the enemies that are, uh, the, the, uh, the white enemies. Uh, uh, there's no other way to put it, I'm sorry. You'll notice, you won't notice it so much with the white enemies because... As soon as you swap out of them, they automatically die. But these orange enemies, they they can be a pain. Say you want to jump off. Say say uh, you want you just don't want this guy to come back to life. Well, that's easily solved. You just shoot an enemy as you're falling. It's very hard to do. Let's say, say you take this enemy. You say you know what? I don't want to have to deal with him a second time. So what you do? You shoot this guy a bunch. Jump off become this enemy, and the other guy falls to his death, and he actually takes damage, and he doesn't come back to life. This is a neat little thing I added, just for me. It's very hard to do, and you probably won't even know about it unless I told you about it, but that's the kind of thing that I don't want this game to be. You can tell maybe everything, you can maybe tell, you can maybe just tell that everything that I wanted this game to be didn't actually make it in, but hey, I like the results, even though know, all the enemies are Posed. A little bit of a generic model with uh, depth textures pasted over them. That's fine. Let me see if I can actually beat this. Because it is difficult, and the enemies are very good shots. Oh, that way. And probably the worst thing you can do is become the enemy with the pistol. Because they have very low health. Very low damage output. You know what? I don't know if I want to be that enemy. I want to be you. But the pistol is very inaccurate, so I might not get a chance. Luckily. Uh oh. I think I'm. S oh. Let me just get this guy. I'm back in it. Good. I think I got a chance yet, folks. Jeez. Didn't take, I think, minor fall damage. Hear that? Absolutely silent. I think. I think I took care of, oh wait, no, forgot about you. Man, he's fast, too. And you? Who's left? Oh yeah, I forgot. I left some guys up there. So let's take care of them. And, um, what haven't I talked about yet? Oh wait, I left an orange guy over there too. This will not stand. <laughs> Gotta be thorough. It's very important. You see that guy up there? Like normally in any first person shooter, how how would I get up there? How would I how would I end up up there? How would I end up 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 there? It's impossible, but in this game, I can become that man. 
And I'm kind of sick of this guy right now. What is he? He's orange and I, I can't see my feet. My shadow is a, a sphere. So let's... Let's try some code now. He's prepared for that. But no, I'm getting up there. Even if it kills me. No, wait. Mm, no, I prefer to get up there without killing me. Let's try that. This is a change base. Oh, jeez. Nope, don't run off the edge. Oh, jeez. Yeah. They are very effective. They're very trained. They may seem calm and static, but don't let that fool ya. Okay, let's see if I can do this right. No! I should have shot someone in the way. Oops. Not him. Uh, something else that's kind of neat. The enemies do actually use the enemy, the weapons you give them. So this enemy right here, he's got an AK, and I need to get a different gun to show this off. So I pick up this other AK, which is slightly better. Fires a little slower, a little more accurate. So, now I'm this now I've got this gun. And if I say shoot this guy and go back to this guy, he's actually using the gun that I gave him, and he will start to shoot me in a minute as soon as it figures out where I am. Because he is st stunned for a second, even though he can move around. When the other enemies got me. So, the game is a little challenging. It's not impossible. I've beaten this level bit before. It's gonna make it easy. You really have to be careful about which enemy you come. Because it could be that one orange enemy you leave... <laughs> you just leave sitting behind you. That does you in in the end. And then you get surrounded. It's just not, it's just not good. It's, you don't want that. You don't want to see that. You don't want... You also gotta be careful about running off buildings. When you shoot an enemy. Ooh, free AK. Man, I'm so glad I took a trip to this. These rooftops filled with shipping containers. Hey, hey, who are you rolling at? Yeah, yeah. Help you along your way. Help you too. Ah, I don't feel like rolling that way. I feel like rolling the other way, eh? I'm going to take your gun and shoot you with it. That's what you get. Hold on, I haven't gotten enough. Oh, there we go. Got just enough. That triggers the dead, and you despawn. Hey, you. That's right. I'm up here. What you gonna do now? I'm gonna take this floating. That's not. Um, no, no. That's. That's decoration. It's a feature, not a bug. And there's the boss enemy. And I did it. It only took me one minute and forty-two seconds. And 30, 370 milliseconds. Oh, that's better than my other score. My last time I did this, it was 1 minute, 42 seconds, and 480 milliseconds. It's like, man, everything is going great for me today. So that's it. That's our game. It's a well-balanced breakfast, version 1.0. And I promised at the beginning, I said, we probably won't make a very pretty game. We probably won't make a game with very nice sound, but by dag nabbit, our game works. God, gosh darn it. Ah, uh, G Willikers. <laughs> I don't think I have anything else to say. I'm just going to end it right now. Good timing.